Hi, I'm Megan and I'm a fifth grade teacher and today I'm going to show you how many students with learning disabilities have been able to master their times tables even when all other methods they tried failed. is through a multiplication system called times tales. And today I'm gonna to show you how this right brain learning system works and how you can try it with your child or student. You don't hear too much about math geared for the right brain dominant student. We mostly think of math as a left brain learning modality. However, the mnemonic program times tales has proven greatly successful for children with learning disabilities, such as dyslexia and dyscalculia. Mnemonics are such a wonderful right brain learning tool that it's actually surprising it's not being taught in every classroom. Really? Is nine times nine. Eight and a one. What is seven times seven? Um, four and a nine. This amazing visual memory aid is so effective that children as young as six are able to effortlessly recite their times tables after being led through times till six step mnemonic system. What's seven times nine? 63. It is actually truly amazing to watch. If your child has dyslexia or dyscalculia, this might just be the answer to your math struggles. It is a whole different method for memorization, but it really does work amazingly well. The number one reason that children with learning disabilities should be using Times Tales is that it's simply effective. If you are a parent that has been in the trenches trying to use the traditional methods to teach your students their times tables, but it just isn't working, you most likely have experienced the frustrations of the ineffectiveness of the rote memorization approach to the times tables. Utilizing a visual mnemonic aid for quick recall of the upper, most difficult times tables has proven high test score results for many children that are struggling learners. There actually was an independent study published by a university in Florida that students with learning disabilities that had used times tales actually had an 81% increase in their test scores. The number two reason that children with learning disabilities should use times tales is that it's fast. Many teachers, tutors, and parents have found that incorporating mnemonics to achieve the mastery of the times tables cuts down the time spent with traditional rote memorization to only a fraction. Using mnemonics to teach the upper times tables can shed weeks or even months from traditional classroom instruction time. The number three reason that children with learning disabilities should use a mnemonic program to master their multiplication tables is it's easy. My name is Isla and I'm going to do times tells. Mrs. Week. How many bags of leaves did she write? Six. Six bags of leaves. What time did she finish raking? Three o'clock. Mr. and Mrs. Week had four dogs and nine cats. Forty-eight. In this video clip, which you just saw, keep in mind that this little girl had not yet learned the concept of multiplication, but has no problem correctly reciting from memory the most difficult math facts. 
Last but not least, the number four reason that children with learning disabilities should use the mnemonic tool for learning their times tables is it's fun. And it gives them a learning tool that they can use for life. Most children absolutely love using mnemonics. Why? Because it's like having a magic trick for your brain. There are many testimonies of parents seeing that their children simply could not remember the math facts by any other method. Once their children switched over to this right brain visual learning method, it suddenly stuck and they could remember the answer. So those are the top four reasons to give mnemonics a try if you have a student or child who is struggling to master their multiplication tables. It's effective, it's fast, it's easy, and it's a really fun way for kids to learn. If you'd like to try out the Times Tales program to see how it works for your child or student, you can get the free sample download by clicking the link below. Thank you for joining us today. And if you liked today's video, check out our website for more resources of how to make math fun and easy. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.